this demo we're going to talk about how to find um, other dashboards and in general use the search bar. So in a previous video, if you happen to watch it, we demonstrated how to create this demo dashboard. However, even for the NetBackup IT Analytics Foundation users, we can use the search bar to find some other uh, opportunities for starting dashboards. By default, the search bar, as you start to type text, we will start to resolve words, whether those be in the title of the object or even in the description, begin to see those, those summaries. So in the example that we have here, if I click on all results, I'll see a breakdown of those objects that contain the word dash in them. I can see that three of them are what we would characterize as honest dashboards. And then we see five templates that have uh, the name dashboard either in their template title or in their description. So those are also available to us. If I simply click it from the search box, if I click on the alerts dashboard, I'm going to get an instant run of that report. If I double click on it, I'm immediately invited to specify the time frame. We're very familiar with scoping at this point. And if I just leave it at the default, I can generate it and we'll get no results. And the reason for that is not because that's a bad report, we just haven't had any alerts fire in this very young portal. Once they begin to tra uh, to, uh, to have information, we would see summary histories alerts, critical alerts, etc. If I go and repeat that search, it remembers our last search and we could then go through and, for example, pull up the net backup deduplication. So if I double click again on the title, once again, we're scoped. We can go ahead and run our, set our scoping and generate. And notice what happened. Our template location, our tab, was replaced by the latest request from the search bar to have that dashboard rendered. What if I wanted to start to see these dashboards side by side along my, my subsections of reports? To do that, let's go back in, repeat our search again and uh, even though it was empty if we want to actually see the alerts dashboard we can go to its source location and we will be able to run it again set our last 10 days as we've been doing and generate and now notice that we have our alerts dashboard and our net backup deduplication dashboard again sitting side by side if we go back to our search we go and say I would like to see now the operations dashboard a template that looks like a dashboard then I can again go to this location run it scope it generate it and again we've laid these out side by side just as we did with our demo alert, we can also make these dashboards home pages if it's an honest dashboard. If it, in the case of this dashboard, we can do that. You can see that we could add that to our, our home pages, and I could do the same for the alerts dashboard. I could also do that for user groups. So it's a very powerful way to be able to set a dashboard and grant access to multiple users at one time. And to prove that what I just did works as expected, if I were to log out and immediately log back in, I'll see those changes. So there's our demo dashboard that we initially set as one of our home pages, and there's the the other two that we added just now.